Good evening, my stamping friends. My name is Marilyn. I'm coming to you from Spruce Grove, Alberta, Canada. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator who loves to share ideas and chit chat with you every Thursday evening. I am broadcasting with StreamYard to Facebook and YouTube, so I hope that you'll join me. And if you can't join the live tonight, I hope that you'll watch the replay. And comments are always welcome. No matter when you're watching, I love to read what you have to say. And I know that you love to chit chat with each other. So I hope you'll continue to do that. So <clears throat> for tonight, I want to uh, just express my my heartfelt <clears throat> greetings to those who are suffering with the, the hurricane in Florida. Uh, Roz, I know you're on here sometimes. And I was sure thinking of you today when I saw the flooding that was happening in Florida. The fires are still happening in Northwest Territories, which is so, so sad. The people can't go home yet. And I think there is some rain that's happened in BC. So that's helped those fires a bit. But I just hope wherever you are, that you are safe. <clears throat> so let us know where you're watching from. And my question for tonight to uh, keep the chit chatter going is what is one thing that you could not live without right now? Um, you know, throughout the years, I'm sure there's been lots of different things. But one thing for me, I'll just be the first to, to let you know, is my cell phone. I um, have everything, my calendar, all my appointments, all my contacts, everything in there. So for me, that's what I couldn't live without. So while you're doing that and chit-chatting, I'm going to show you a few things. As usual, I want to share with you the classes that I hold all on Zoom. Our Zoom with Friends class is Friday at one o'clock. Um, I do not share this link openly with the public, but if you want to join, you certainly can. Just let me know and I'll include you in the email that I send out with that link. <clears throat> okay, so that is going to be happening tomorrow. Thank you, Marie, for um, volunteering to teach for that one. The second Thursday of each month, I do have Christmas card class and... In conjunction with that, just let me do this, is today is the last day to register for the one coming up in September. So if you haven't registered for that, please do so. Because I do prepare kits to send out to anyone in Canada, and it takes me a couple of weeks to get them there. So that's why the two-week cutoff for that one. Okay, I also have a monthly card class. and. That one will be, the cutoff for that one is September 7th, because it's a week later. So just so you're aware that those are coming. And um, you can register anytime. If you get my email, you will have a link in the email always to um, register at any time. So please let me know if you'd like to join me. And I have one more reminder. From Stampin' Up, uh, today is the last day to redeem those coupons that you would have earned if you purchased anything for $60 or more in July. And I'd hate to see you lose out on it. So just a reminder, there's still time up until, what is it, they go 11.59, I think it is, when um, you can still register for that. So register, redeem that is what it's called, obviously, as you can see, redeem on the screen. So just... Um, as we're going through there, I'm going to flip over to comments here in a minute and look at um, at what you're saying, in case there's something I need to deal with before we get started. But here is the um, parts that I've made to show you for tonight, and we're going to make a different set. But this is the um, <clears throat> pardon me, the set that I had started with. And <clears throat> I really had a good time doing it. And I thought I'd just carry on. Last week, if you recall, I did something with the um, the card color coaches. And I thought, well, I'm just going to carry on with that. And we'll talk a little bit more about it. So I see <clears throat> I have Gail, I have Karen, I have Kathleen, Judy, Bonnie, um, Stacy, Betty. Hello, Betty. Hope your eyes are doing okay. And Carmen from Chicago, great to see you all. I will, if I don't have time, or if I don't see your questions and comment as we're going through here, I certainly go back and read them all afterwards. 
And again, just a word <clears throat> to um, let you know that I can see comments from YouTube as well as Facebook. So if I'm commenting on something that you can't see on the screen you're dealing with, it might be on the other device or the other application, I guess it's called. So <clears throat> just bear in mind that, and I will try to highlight them, which I can do if there's something that I'm answering specifically. So here we go with these cards. These are note cards. I don't know if you've noticed them or not in the Stampin' Up! Um, catalog, but they are item number 144236, $11, and you get, no, I did have that written down somewhere. Oh, here it is. Um, 20 for $11. So quite a good deal. You get the card base, which is what I used here. So it's already scored for you. And you get an envelope. So I have put these together and I am going to use them. So for my samples, I started, um, I'll just go back to this for a minute. I see uh, Stacy can't live without her lap laptop, Bonnie, friends and family, uh, Judy able to wait, take long walks. Betty has um, recently had cataract surgery. So this is her comment over on YouTube. Card making is out of the question, but she can watch TV. So presumably, Betty, you've got us up on your TV and you can see what we're going to do here tonight. So hopefully. And Marie is here. Good job, Marie. And Marie will be teaching our class tomorrow. So for these cards, what I did was I went to my color coach again. And I picked Lemon Lime Twist just for something really bright and cheery. And then I followed what Frenchie Stamps had done with putting, she took Lemon Lime, then Melon Mambo and Blueberry Bushel. Those are the colors she combined. Then for this one, it is the Lemon Lime Twist, the Poppy Parade and Gorgeous Grey. And I never in... Um, all my life would have thought of putting these colors together in this way. And I just love how they turned out. And then for the last one, Lemon Lime Twist, Azure Afternoon and Night of Navy. So again, if you're interested in these and you don't have them, let me know because I can certainly uh, send you a link to where you can print them and use them. And I, my colors, I mean, I have a color printer and they're not true, but they give you the names. And I can pull them out and do something like this. So, so what are your thoughts? My question for everybody coming on later was that what is one thing that you cannot live without? Um, and I know all of us would say health and friends and family and that kind of thing, but um, it goes in conjunction with the other question I had looked at was um, what is the best thing you ever bought from Amazon? And I'm sure most all of you probably have bought something from Amazon. So thinking along those lines, what is the best, the thing that uh, you can't live without? So for tonight's sample that I'm going to make, I chose pecan pie. I thought, let's take just another totally different color, not the bright, this is more of a, a subtle. So I'm going to use pecan pie and I've got my other colors laid out here, copper clay, crumb cake, and I'm going to try not to mess them up here. Okay, so this is the first one. And my sizes are, let's just do this so that in case you're wondering, I have the first layer is four and a half by three, and it's just going to be my base. My crumb cake layer is three and a half by one, and that will go across here. And then my layer that I'm going to stamp on is four and a quarter by two and three quarters. And that's it. Um, easy, easy, because I do have the Stamparatus, and I am going to use it. I am certainly not getting rid of it, even though Stampin' Up! doesn't no longer sells it. And I'm using, I decided before I even saw her samples that I was going to use Bottled Happiness. It's one of those sets that I've had since the very beginning of when it came out. And I felt it just wasn't used enough. So I'm going to use this 
for my base again, probably because, well, mainly because it's a small area for these note cards. And then I'm going to see in these two colors with the colors that um, the ink on my hand already, that the uh, color coach says. So if you, um, if you want to try doing that, I have pulled my pieces out and they're all on the same apparatus. So that's what I'm going to use. And I'm hoping that this does not take a terrible long amount of time because I have lots of swap cards to share with you tonight. Um, if you saw Karen's post earlier today, um, he's in five different swaps. I think I'm in three of them. Two swaps, not three of hers. And um, I love going to the mailbox nowadays. So, so first of all, <clears throat> I am going to stamp my vase. And this is how I had it laid out. So this is what I'm going to do. My, I always use, leave these two um, squares blank and place my paper there. I am going to use my magnets and try not to put them against each other. So for this, I will stamp all three of my cards right away with my pecan pie, just because they're all the same color. So let me grab those. And the other thing that, and I can do it this way so you can see maybe, we like to do is place a stamp case or a, yeah, a stamp case underneath it so that it's all kind of the same level when you are inking it up. And let's make sure that I'm in the right spot. And there is a piece of something on there which would make a squiggle mark, which maybe, let me look at her. I know you guys can't see it, but I can see a hair on there. And I, hmm. you know what? I'm just going to wait for the whole thing because it's not too long. <clears throat> And I can't blame anybody but me because nobody but me is down here working at least. So, okay, let's give it a try. The other thing I like to do when I use this, if you have one and, and are still looking for some, some hints and whatever, is I use a paper towel or a Kleenex to just release it as it's being stamped. So, what else have you tried with your color coach if you have one? Or how do you pick your color combinations? That's maybe a better question. <laughs> yes, I will have some. I'll show you this one because you will know why I said yes. Marie is having almonds. White with almonds. Hmm. Any kind of uh, chocolate and almonds would be good for me. Thank you for sharing. We'll be right over. And there is my third one. So you can use either side of your plates with your stamparatus. I happen to be lucky enough that I do have three plates, so I'm just going to put this aside and clean it afterwards because I am going to be cleaning these other ones quite regularly. Now, which one is that? That one is that one. This could be real tricky. I can't remember which way I did them. But so now, I need to put these back in and stamp my flower colors. And if you if you don't have a stamparatus, but you have a set like this that is a um, a two step
uh, set. And they're photopolymers, so you can see um, through them. Okay, so for my second one, I use the same color that I use my, my strip with. So that's going to be crumb cake in this case. And it uh, So it does pick it up a little bit, but I usually just make sure I've got it lined up here again. Um, I'll just see Betty's comment that I will highlight because it is, um, <clears throat> she said she made her own Chucky for the um, Stamparatus, which saves her wrist. And that would be something to use instead of the paper towel that I'm using. I believe that's what it's called. So now I'm going to do my copper clay, which again is my other color that Stampin' Up! has in their color coach. <clears throat> and there is my finished, finished piece. So I will just do the others. Just got them laying them on here and you guys keep chitter chattering and ideas what other color combinations would you use and i will try to speed this up i'm not holding you up for too long and i will <laughs> one of the baby lights here i'm going to clean with because it's faster than my um regular cleaner but that is the only thing that, that takes a bit of time when you're doing different colors like this is cleaning in between but you can understand why you would want to do that okay so i will put that aside and now my next one on my color coat is Pumpkin Pie and Pretty Peacock. So I have Pretty Peacock for my underpiece here. So Pretty Peacock will be my base one, which is this one. And I know a lot of people like using the the smaller stamp and spots. Whoa, that's not going to work. I may get down too far. I don't have the spots. I do not um, have paper pumpkin like some do. And uh, so I just use my big one. And I'm always surprised that even when it does this, can you see that? The, it doesn't usually come off on my image. So the next color would then be Pumpkin pie, I almost called it paper pumpkin. And that would be my next color. Okay, so that is that one. And then last but not least, we will do this one, which has shaded spruce and cherry cobbler. So cherry cobbler being my first. Ooh, I look at I've got ink on it. Sorry, guys. I need to go. Oh dear, dear, dear. Maybe it will um, have to be an embellishment. We'll see if we want. So try to clean these and try not to. That's the only thing with using baby wipes. I do find that my fingers get all inky. And that's what happens. So, okay, so again, my color here is going to be cherry cobbler first on this side.
And you can see I am doing a swap for another event coming up in September. And I used a full, <clears throat> um, what do you call it, background stamp. And I used the Stamparatus for it. And oh, I couldn't imagine if I didn't do that. I still had uh, two or three that didn't stamp properly and I didn't catch it. So <clears throat> I will put something where the, the image didn't show. But, uh, and there is that one. So now it's just a matter of putting those together. If you have a Stamparatus, don't ever leave those and close them. <laughs> and don't lay them on top of each other like that because they will fit. And ask me how I know that. <clears throat> so before I do anything else, I am going to use my um, pecan pie again and stamp my greeting. And ladies question, have you heard if they're bringing the Stamparatus back? I have not. I uh, I haven't heard any mention of the Stamparatus for a long time, so I would guess probably not at this point anyway. Um, and I'm going to use probably just the same thing I'm going because then it could be for, um, I should not fold out there. Just give me half a sec. <laughs> I, um, it would be nice if the Stamparatus came back. I certainly agree on that one. Because for lots of us, um, it has made a great difference. Where is my pecan pie? So I'm just going to stamp those, and again, small stamp, small pressure. So I'm not going to be too heavy-handed with that. I am going to stamp it on this corner. And that's it. Just have to glue it together. So. <laughs> Keep on chatting, and um, it's always great to visit with all of you and know that you're visiting with each other. So you could, of course, stamp on your envelope if you want to, but I am just going to put my card together. I really try to keep from getting this all over because somebody's going to win these cards right as you know i uh do a draw next week for everybody who's commented no matter um which way love that stamp set uh <clears throat> bonnie says which stamp set bonnie do you mean the the greeting ones or the the uh <laughs> Boggled happiness. I can't even think of what it's called. <clears throat> Karen, I'm glad you're liking the color coach. I, like I said before, I have it on my desk and I'm finding that I use it more and more and more. I do, <clears throat> when I do my classes, I do a list of what products I've used plus the number. And I use this side where I've got the number listed an awful lot as well. So, so to put this on, all I did was use my liquid glue, and I did being kind of particular about having it in the center. My card is five inches, so two and a half is the center. So therefore, my one inch strip should be between two and three. And <clears throat> I made sure it was a reaching this fold and this end if I need to I could trim it off. Then my pecan pie layer goes but before that I'm going to glue this with liquid glue and because the 
this layer is going over the banner. <laughs> it's something like a ribbon. So I'm going to put dimensionals here and here. And that way it won't, um, the banner behind it won't impede it. So I'm just going to do these guys. And Bonnie's saying she likes both <laughs> the stamp sets, the um, like bottle of happiness is what you're referring to. And <clears throat> like so many other people, and I know I'm not alone in this, that you buy it, you do lots with it, and then you go on to something else, like we all have. And okay, <clears throat> so I can continue on by putting these on where they belong. So Karen, did you get through all your happy mail that that you're sending this morning? It was uh, great. Some great ideas coming through on those. And uh, if any of you are wondering what a uh, swap is, <laughs> we sign up to make so many cards. The one, the two that Karen and I are in, one of them, we made 21 cards and one of them we made 11, I think it was. And then we just, we have the addresses of everybody and we just mail them out and then we get a whole bunch of the mail. So, <clears throat> okay, um, it's a great way to not have to own every stamp set and yet you still get samples. And what happens quite often, and Karen can help me vote for that, is the fact that when we see the samples, we just don't really need to about that too. So, okay, in order. And uh, pretty soon everybody will be able to order on the 6th of September, which is coming next week. So, so there is my crumb cake, which means this one goes on top of it. <clears throat> So if you have these little cards, I have them sitting in the cupboard for a long time. And I thought, why not use them? Like they don't take any extra postage. I know that because I checked it out for somebody one time. So you could use these as your swap cards. Um, you could use them for birthday cards. And as I'm looking at these, you could certainly, if you had lots, Put little rhinestones in all these little flowers and twerk it up. You could use, uh, pardon me, um, Wake of Stella on them. What else would you do <laughs> if you were if you were me making these? Okay. Sorry, I just have to do my line up here. And sometimes uh, the card I was working on for, for the next swap, I had this and I had that. And then I thought, oh, maybe I need this. And then I thought, no, you know what? Sometimes you can go overboard. And I didn't want to do that. So I uh, quit while I was ahead. So there are my cards. You could add a tiny bee or a butterfly, a tiny bow. Look at the answers. Thank you. Hello, Linus. Um, and Karen's happy mail <clears throat> did get my happy mail it was amazing. Thank you, everyone, for incredible ideas. I love the two swaps you're in Maryland and also the four others. <laughs> Crazy, I know, but so much fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've got a tiny bowl, a bee or a butterfly. And uh, yeah, so for those, I'm going to leave them. Other than this one might have to have something there. So. I'll decide that a little later when it's all dried up or dried up or whatever you want to say. So those are the cards for tonight that I use the color coat with the pecan pie um, that Stampin' Up! had given us. So it's neutral, but it's how they look. I <laughs> And, of course, the three that I had done earlier 
are done with the lemon lime twist. So you can see they're the same but different. And uh, let me know what colors you'd like to use for those kind of things. While well, I make a little bit of room here, and I'm going to, uh, there's nothing else. Do you, sorry, something jumped in my screen. Inus is asking, do you use current items? <laughs> Most of the time, whoever's organizing the swap does request that you use current items. And for, for the ones like Karen and I are in just now, like I said, we're trying to get products from the new catalog or samples from the new catalog so that um, we know what they're going to look like. So, yes. And the one that I do with my team, Inus, I do not uh request that they all have to be current items because a lot of my team members are hobby demonstrators and don't have all the current stuff. So I just want them to keep stamping and keep having a good time. So I'm just going to set these aside. And thank you for all the comments. And I'm going to show you some of my happy mail. Um, First of all, we're going to start with this one. This is not Happy Mail. This is one that I attended Carmen's um, mystery stamping on Tuesday night. And <clears throat> she gives um, a supply list. And then we join her on Zoom and she has all the clues and she does clue number one, two, three, four. And this one she took from, mm -hmm, I can't remember what page number now. It was in the, in the new mini. And she couldn't show us, but she told us what page number. So be sure and look at your catalogs. Um, and use them for your your recipes, for your samples. There's all kinds of things that you can do from right from the catalog. Okay. And then for my swaps, I received this one from Patty. And it is, it's a neat fold. Look at that. It... Uh, a little something for you with lots of love from me. And she's colored. This paper, well, all of this is from the new mini. And then a little spot on the back to write. And it folded flat like that to um, to lay in the envelope. This one folded like this to lay in the envelope, but it opens and stands like that. And it has the cutest little sheep, donkey. The nativity scene, the crash, the star that's on there, and some of the designer paper. And that one's from Linda, Linda Baker. So I thought it was quite neat on how it folded to fit in the envelope. This one is from Robin. And she has done a lot of, there's vellum, there is uh, stamping on vellum. There is embossing folder with a curled um, happy birthday wishes with happy birthday knot, but the wishes is embossed, heat embossed. And then these three little pieces and wishing you all the happiness in the world. So it's a card that stands like this. Real different fold. A corner, I guess you'd call it a corner fold. This one is from Maureen. And this is a set new again, new in the well, they're all new in the catalog. She didn't say that. And it's done with embossing over top of designer paper here. This is embossed. I think. No. Okay, this is designer paper on top of this paper. This is one of those dies that the, the one die cuts all of this. So you don't have to fiddle with putting pieces behind or not. This one. Is gorgeous and it is from Hetty. And I'm guessing, and Tim, I know you're in a swap and maybe you can help me with it, but I do believe that she used white ink on the, the dye or the embossing folder, I should say. And um, to me, that's what it looks like. And I will reach out to her to find out because I think it's, it's gorgeous and I do have that set, so I'm going to try it. So, um, this one is from Shelly, and it's a slight, huh, what do you call this? A pocket card. That's what you call it. And this is a new punch that is coming out. It punches the snowflake out, and she's put a little sticker in there saying it's a gift card. 
and she has used that um, polar bear set. And this one, I don't have all the sets people used on here, but this is uh, Forever Forest and Brightest Glow by Cindy. So this is the forest one and uh, the joy. This is vellum over top of the again. And one from Michelle. This is more of an autumn one from the autumn leaves and heat embossing this gold. Realized today as I looked, I do not have this gold ribbon. And I understand that um, Bonnie and Karen, I know you've had some of this ribbon because you've talked about using all of it. Bonnie says, my sound is falling in and out. I'm I'm just sitting here and the mic is on. So I hope it's not that. Hopefully it's something, a, a glitch somewhere along the line. Now this one is from Lorna and it came in an envelope like this. So it's got that same punched um, end on it. But look at what happens with this one. If you, I'm scared of breaking it, but it goes down or comes up all the way, whatever you want. And then it will stand like this. And you've got, she's got a greeting, a snowflake, and a greeting on this side as well. So I don't know. So it looks like it's it's a box either way, and then that pops up in the center. I have seen them. I don't I don't recall having made one. That might be something to um, to work towards. No, I don't want to wreck it. And it does fold flat enough. Envelope. So those are all from that one swap. Then I have this one from Bonnie, from our team swap. And Bonnie does have new product. Um, hmm. Tiled ink, tiled, tiled ink. I um, I don't have this set, Bonnie, so I'm glad that you sent it. I really, really like it. And she's put a little, whoa, sorry, a little piece of paper on the inside. And last but not least in the card, I have, I just don't want to wreck that one, so I'm going to move it here. This one from Karen, and this is for the other the other swap that we're in, and it is one where we are to to uh, recreate what's in the catalog. So again, using the catalog for our sample, I love this Karen and this, and she's used the note cards. If you notice, those are the same. Great, great uh, job with the embossing folders or not embossing folders. <sighs> with the decorative masks. <laughs> Karen has given great detail on what she did. So thank you, Karen. I will study that. I don't have those masks yet, but the more I see these sunflowers, the more I like them. And what she did, um, just by looking at this, is this all of the um, coloring and then ran it through the embossing folder, which is this one which I'm guessing is another new one, Karen. I didn't look that up either, but um, embossing, distressed tile embossing folder. And Karen put that on top here so that when it came through the mail, it didn't um, poke through the envelope. So thank you so much for those. Now, the other thing I wanted to share that we did at our Facebook, no, at our Zoom on uh, Friday, uh, we did kind of a combined effort with uh, Linda teaching and I was using my downward camera and we made these boxes. And we, we just, there weren't many of us there, but we had a great time doing it and they're great for gift boxes. So that's the one I had done as a sample. And then this is one that I did during the class. And then Betty, who is on here, and I thank you again, Betty. Betty sent me instructions for making one that is smaller. And I only did it out of white paper, so I've got a sample, but I want to show you how much smaller. Because her idea, you can see it's the same thickness there, but it's that much shorter. And I didn't run my corners on this or anything, but the idea being, and we both tested it, you can put, if they don't have a lot of, raised embellishments on them, you can put six, 
cards and envelopes in either side. So you've got a case that will hold 12 cards and envelopes that you could use as a gift. So um, those are the kind of things, if you're ever considering coming to our, our Zoom with friends on the Friday, um, we do things like that, but we also do things like this, like just regular cards. So um, hopefully those of you on here, thanks Bonnie, inked and tiled was that stamp set name. Uh, and just let me know because our Fridays are, are great. And Betty, even though you can't craft, I'm hoping you'll join us tomorrow just for the laughter. We have lots of, lots of fun and laughter. So I'm going to now show you this card that we made last week. And I went through all of the names um, late this afternoon of people who had commented, whether on the live or the replay. And the winner of this one is Sandy Koy Emery. And I know Sandy's name was over on YouTube. So Sandy, I hope you're going to watch and send me your address because I do not have it. And I'll mail you that card. Then I have my usual um, giveaway at the end and now I can't find there it is I have to share my screen so that you can see your name come up right um select the window I think it's going to be oh, I could never remember that and then I'm gonna go over here and then I'm going to look, and I think you will see it come up on where you can see it. One, two, three, one, two, three. There it is. Okay. It says that 12 of you have put your name, have you have said something, and you don't have to say lots, but your name only goes in once. No matter if you comment three or four or six times, your name only is in once. And the program, I can also, I will remove your name if you win, and then you can, um, someone else will win the next time. So Inus, and as long as I can see where my mouse is, I will draw again. And Sandy, I see your name on there, so you're watching here somewhere, so please send me your um, your address, your mailing address, and I will get that off to you. And Carmen, I know I just sent you a card and I have your address. Carmen is my niece, so I love seeing her on here too. Great to keep in touch, Carmen. Gail, congrats. And Betty. And Last but not least, and I'll just remind you again that these cards are not all cards that I've made. Some of them are in swaps from a long time ago. Um, I just would like to, um... okay, Gail, are you watching on two places? Is that how come you ended up in here twice? Um, must be. You must have commented on, I didn't look where the other one was, but that's okay. Let me go back to stop sharing and let me go back here. And thank you so much. Thank you for being here. And uh, joining in, in comments, in suggestions, we love just having everybody together for a community thing like this once a week and sometimes more often. But in my schedule with what um, what's happening, it um, it's only the Friday, the Friday, the Thursday nights that I, I can do right at this time. But maybe sometime later, maybe more. So please... Um, Keep commenting. Please keep in touch with me. And as always, um, if you're on YouTube, like and subscribe. I would appreciate that. It helps me get known. And on Facebook, if you want to share the um, the recording, that would be great as well. If you need supplies and you live in Canada and do not already have a demonstrator, I'd love to be that person too. Um, Sandy, just uh, message me if you can, please. And... We will see you next week. So take care and please do stay safe. Bye now.